What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Fitness USA. Today, we're gonna show you a little bicep burner you can do on the Gorilla Bow Light. 50 pound resistance, that's gonna have you feeling weak, I promise you that. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen the Blue Collar Outdoors channel or any of my Gorilla Bow workouts, they were with the OG, which is a thicker gauge uh, bow per se. Also, you can have more than one band on it. This is just gonna be the light, which I really like how this bend is for biceps. So what I do is I'll get my hand right in there, just like that, because that allows you to keep your hand open. Now, these little tips are things I've learned along the way from working out. When I first started doing arms, I could never get any size of my arms. I could not figure out why. I, uh, I, I went heavy, I did all this stuff, I got after it per se, and nothing ever happened. I drank my protein, I ate right, and then it kind of clicked one day when I really focused on my grip, for one, and getting my elbows out in front, taking my shoulders out, and getting a clean curl. So I've been really driving it to my girlfriend when we work out, that your form and tension are two things that can really help you, especially with your arms. Now, what I would do with this is my grip would be right here and right here, and it does change. I would put the bands down. If you step in the middle of the bands, you'll get less resistance. If you want to use the same band but get more, you can widen your stance. It's all, just all by feel. Don't worry about the weight. The weight is not the important thing. It's focus on your muscles. Get that mind-muscle connection and really just drive through them reps and feel them. So what I like to do, my girlfriend hates this workout. Put your, get here, I'll get square. There we go. So arms out in front. And what you want to do is come up half for seven. I think that was eight. Then you're up top to the middle for seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Now lastly, as you're starting to feel a good pump, drive up and out. So when you curl, don't bring them back here because that brings your shoulders in. Keep them out here, feel it. All the way up, all the way down. You want to get a bigger pump? Here's a little trick. Hold it just below where you relax, come up, stop there. Come up, stop there. Now, that is what I call my 21 bicep burner. What I would do is I would do that for three sets of seven just to warm up. And after that, I, if you want to go lighter weight, like I said, it's not about the weight. You want to put a 30 pound band on, 10 pound, do what you can do to really focus on that whole process. You want to feel it. You also can do these individual. I mean, you can grip the bar, stand on it, grip the bar in, and get a twist curl. I would go lighter. So that one, I would really sit, you know, keep my grip here, do my bottom halves, then the tops, then full, and keeping my arms out, back up, really focusing at the top, pressing that. I would do that for three sets of seven of each rep. So seven, seven bottom, seven top, seven fulls, seven, three sets of that. So that workout, I like to do three sets of my seven bottom, seven top, seven full, so essentially 21 reps, so three sets. And what I do is I always start with the bottom, then go to the, the, you know, the top down, then full, then the next set I change it up. I'll go my full, then top, then bottom. Just keep mixing that up, how you go about it. Another one I like to add to that workout is the close grip, wide grip. So I would grab it 
same grip as that, but what I would do is bring it out in front, come up, hold, and then drag it down. All the way to the bottom, come up, hold, drag it down. I would do this for about six or seven. Let me get sideways so you can see. Now, I would do three sets of whatever you can do with that. It's essentially, you're really focusing on that negative to get that contraction all the way through. You just want time under tension. The good thing about resistance bands is it allows you to have more time under tension. You don't, it doesn't, it actually gets harder the further you stretch that band. So keep that in mind when you're picking your weight. And don't worry about the weight, okay? You want to focus on the rep itself. Make it beautiful. Make it a Picasso, you know what I'm saying? So that way you're getting your gains. What I would do next, I like these. Close grip, flip, coming up, almost like a T-Rex, you know what I'm saying? So you come up, I would grip it. My thumbs are like this, lock in, kind of like you're pushing the lawnmower. And then you just got to pull up and to you. So these are going to be a little bit different feeling when you're using resistance. But what you want is to keep your arms out in front and then just come up. Now most people will have to go lighter with that. That was actually pretty, pretty tricky for me. I tried to use the thumbs, I adapted, it went right to this. Kept my hands in tight, like I was mowing, just like this, come up. So I would do three sets of eight of that. Then instantly go right into, as soon as you're done with that, go close grip. And now this one, lean kind of over. I suppose I should move this down. Lean over like this, come up, hands open. Do eight, then come up, same grip. I don't know how many I did there, but, and do eight, bend over, and you wanna be really focused on keeping your arms dangle, and then just drive up. You want your elbows to be stationary. And then, Stand up, lean back, same thing, just with a narrow grip. I would do that for three sets of 10. Now all of these put together, if I gotta kill biceps, I don't have time to run to the gym, I'm stuck at work and I brought this, this is what I do. Now, will this workout cover your biceps? If you focused only on this workout? No, it won't, because working out, you have to keep mixing it up. You have to keep your body guessing also, you can work your absolute ass off, but if you're not eating right, drinking water, and getting your sleep, guys, your gains aren't going to be there. So it's not the workout's problem. It's the discipline side of things. Your main focus should always be on your diet, your water intake, and your sleep. Now, for me, I never get enough sleep, ever. But I drink a ton of water a day. My diet right now is not the best, but me and my girlfriend are gonna start holding ourselves accountable and really driving down on it because we're gonna do more fitness stuff. We finally have a little more time to get this channel back going. So we're gonna do all the steps right and we're gonna film it all. If you're looking, if you have the Gorilla Bow and you're looking for a killer bicep workout, this bicep burner will do the job. If, you have, if you're in a pinch, can't get to the gym, or you're looking for something new maybe, if you focus on the actual dynamics, actually keep your form right and get your pump, you'll feel it. It will help. It will help. I want to start doing more workouts for your triceps, more workouts for your biceps, all that fun stuff. I want to start doing more of it on the channel, and we're going to be doing it soon. 
So this was just a quick bicep burner as I call it. It's a combination of all of these. If you do this correctly, with the proper weight to allow you to have perfect form, you will feel it. I promise you that. But you got to make sure you're keeping your arm out front and you're getting that curl. Because if you're not getting that tension and you're letting your shoulders curl it, you'll feel it in your upper back and you'll feel it in your shoulders. You want to feel it on your bicep. Now we will be doing more ways to target your bicep with the Gorilla Bow. Also triceps, shoulders, back, chest, legs, all that fun stuff. So drop your comments below, let us know what you want to see. We got a lot of things coming to this fitness channel. We are testing a new scale. We're testing a new kind of like a Fitbit item. My girlfriend's trying that out. And we're gonna start doing the meal prep plans, all that fun stuff. So we got a lot of stuff coming to the channel. So subscribe. If you're from Blue Collar Outdoors, thank you for joining the fitness side of BCO Nation. If you haven't seen Blue Collar Outdoors, go check that out. It's our YouTube channel for all things outdoors. Turkey Pattern Series, Broadhead Test Series, our hunts, all things outdoors in a no BS, honest performance talks manner. That's how we conduct ourselves, guys. If you're looking for stuff that will help you, now I'm not claiming to be a personal trainer or anything along those lines. I don't have a degree in it. I don't know any of that. But the way I see it, I know what has worked for me. I know what I feel the best pump with, and I'm just sharing insight to what I have found to work for myself. Will it work for everyone? I doubt it because everyone's completely different, but it will help. So guys, subscribe, smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment below. Let us know what you want to see on the channel, what workouts you'd like to see with the Gorilla Bow or the Gorilla Bow Light. Also, let us know what you want to see at home gym products. I know there's an X bar, X3 bar. There's a ton of stuff now. We, me and my girlfriend are looking at it. We're going to start getting more that we can test and compare them to save you guys money. At the end of the day, all we care about is stuff that will help you without breaking your bank. Times are tough right now. We got your back. I have no problem wasting money on a bad product to save you guys. It's what I'm about. It's what I do on the outdoors channel. It's what we'll do here. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Fitness. This was the quick bicep burner. We have a lot more workouts coming. Hope you guys like this one, commented below, and subscribe. If so, we'll catch you on the next one.